Welcome to another exciting episode of Sports Right Now with your sincerely the undisputed heavyweight champion of the airwave, the Sahai Guma, ready to bring you the best of sporting gist just last night after five years of being the manager of Manchester City. For the first time in the history of Manchester City, Manchester City will be at the UEFA Champions League final, courtesy of a double goal scored by Riyad Mahrez, the Algerian. You remember him very well, if not for anything, for the free kick that sent Nigeria out of the African Cup of Nations. He was able to do the business for Manchester City yesterday at the UEFA Champions League semi-final second leg at the Etihad Stadium and he got the both goals for Manchester City to send PSG packing. Well, for the first time, Manchester City will be making it to the UEFA Champions League a finals. That's a big one on the side of Pep Guardiola. I will bring you the dates of that one. And also, the stadiums that have been approved for the uh, CAF, uh, FIFA World Cup uh, for Nigeria, seven stadiums have been approved by uh, FIFA. One of them is our famously owned Tamale Gwamudia Stadium here in Benin City. I'll be bringing you the remaining six uh, on the show today. You don't have to go anywhere. Stay with me. I'll be back. On May 29th, Manchester City will be in action in Istanbul in the UEFA Champions League final. But either Chelsea or Real Madrid awaits in the UEFA Champions League final. He grew up uh, in the suburb of Paris talking about Real Madrid, but his goals have been able to send his, home cl his hometown a club out of the UEFA Champions League. His goal decided the first leg, uh, they won 2 1, and uh, last night also they won uh, two goals to nothing, but not without some issues. Uh, Eger Di Maria of PSG uh, got recorded in that particular encounter and he was sent off uh, for a foul on uh, Benjamin Mendy of Manchester City. But Oh, there's an elitist issue. The commentator in that particular game made a reference to Iger uh, Di Maria saying that uh, it was his Latino heritage that made him commit that uh, foul and it didn't really sit down well with so many persons. We heard that UEFA are investigating and possibly we might just get to see that commentator be fine or sacked from his job. I don't think you should uh, be uh, discriminating against anyone regardless of their background or anything. You should accept people the way they are and address them the way they are. Referring to his background I think that was a way way off it. That's a below pair if you ask me. That's a low blow if you ask me. The commentator did not do well with that particular comment. And for Real Mares, big congratulations to him. I think uh, he has been able to cement his spot or rather cement, put his name at the front burner of the African Cup of, of, of the African Footballer of the Year contender. I heard of our own Kelechi and Acho, senior man cares. When um, 2014, when Manchester City were eliminated in the uh, round of 16, and uh, after the particular match. Uh, Sergio Conaguero, the Argentine, I was asked a question if he was going to leave Manchester City. He said that would be on one condition until Manchester City gets to win the UEFA Champions League final. They get to win the UEFA Champions League, and this happens to be his last season for uh, Manchester City and they are in the finals. Can't you see how lucky the man is? Probably this might just be the time for him uh, to end in glory. Talking about uh, Sergio Con Aguero. I think uh, this man is so, so lucky. Don't forget, the first time Manchester City won their uh, Premier League, he was the one that scored the goal against Kipiaro and uh, he was, his goal decided on the last day to snatch the trophy away from their rival and their noisy neighbour Manchester United in the dying minutes of that particular encounter. Big congratulations to, of course, Manchester City uh, Sergio Conaguero. Pep Gadola has said that uh, for the first time in his five year uh, stay at Manchester City, things are beginning to make sense. Big congratulations today. But later tonight, will it be Chelsea or Real Madrid? Time will tell. But I want you to go straight to the comment section. Drop your predictions. If you think it's going to be Manchester, it's going to be Chelsea, I beg your pardon. Put it. Tell me Ch Ch um, Chelsea will qualify. If you think Real Madrid will qualify, just put it there. Tell me uh, Real Madrid will qualify for the Champions League final. And if you are spot on, if you are very correct, you get to win some fantastic prize. Courtesy of Sports Arena on VOS TV. You know how we do. We love to give back to the society and we love to give back to you. Moving away from that one, now let's go straight to Nigeria and talk you through the stadiums that have been approved for the uh, FIFA World Cup qualifier. Seven stadiums have been approved for the FIFA World Cup qualifier that will be held in Nigeria. Where the Super Eagles will either play at the Tesla Balogo Stadium in Lagos or they will have to play in the, the Samuel Lugamonte Stadium. They have been here before. And also, or the Cathedral, that is uh, the inner of the Azikiwe Stadium right there in Enu or the Aimba International Stadium in Abba and a couple of other stadiums across, across the country. For the first time, we'll be seeing seven stadiums ready to host the World Cup qualifiers. You know, we've always been struggling with uh, 
decisions on where to host the Super Eagles matches and it's been one, uh, one way from, it's been uh, rushing from one venue to the other and I think the last time we played the World Cup qualifiers we had to rush from Cardinal to the MK Abiola Stadium in Lego in Abuja or down to uh, at the Nest of Champions in Rio. But finally we've, we've gotten seven standard stadiums approved by FIFA. Let's hope that um, by the time the qualifiers kick start by September 2021 Definitely, those stadiums will still be in good shape the way FIFA inspected and approved, and they will be able to accommodate the Super Eagles of Nigeria when the qualifiers kick start properly. And also, let's hope that then probably, probably fans will be returning to stadiums to cheer the Super Eagles of Nigeria for victory. The last time they were in action was right there at the Tesla Balogo Stadium in Lagos. Just sincerely was there to cover actions, and I, of course, I brought you a report. And I told you that uh, it was an, a light, it was a lightning um, um, moment and a very, very beautiful moment uh, right there at the Tesla Balogo stadium but without fans but you know the super goes returning to lagos without fans well it's more or less of the mind and the fact that uh, they return back home they are of course uh, they are sh should i say the ancestral home now I'm talking about the super goes of nigeria let's see if those stadiums will be in top shape by the time the qualifiers kick start properly but one thing i know the samuel gomudia stadium would definitely definitely still be in top shape because it is being handled and maintained by some of the best fans in the game Let's wrap up the show today with uh, a news coming from the NBA. Yes, the playoff is finally upon us, and I can tell you that uh, it's not looking like it's not looking so sweet for my team. Talking about LA Lakers, well, um, LeBron James is back to the team, but uh, LA Lakers can't find their teams. But here is how the playoff stands right now. Uh, well, for the playoffs, uh, I think uh, it will be a battle of two teams, uh, two players, particularly uh, Steph Curry and his brother, the Splash brother, against Luka Doncic. These are uh, these guys who go head to head when the playoffs kick start properly. They, of course, are uh, you know Luka Doncic already made it through to the final uh, to the playoffs, but but for uh, Steph Curry and his brother, uh, uh, of course, uh, Clay Thompson, they are yet to even uh, they might not even make it the playoffs because of the position they are right now in the regular season of the NBA. Personally, I feel it's going to be a big step down for, of course. Uh, Steph Curry, the Splash Brothers, Steph Curry, and of course uh, Clay Thompson. For Kevin Durant, I think uh, definitely uh, he has been able to prove that uh, he's a one-man army, moving away from the shadows of, uh, of course, uh, the Lakers, uh, the King Lebron James of this world, and going straight to another team, and uh, still holding his uh, performance high, and of course performing at the top and actually taking his team to the playoff. That's a big one. Big congratulations to him. Thank you so much for joining me on today's episode of Sports Arena. It's been a wonderful time with you guys. But quickly, let me remind you that predictions are up. Go straight to the comment section. Tell me the team that will be making it up and making it to the finals of the UEFA Champions League. Is it going to be Real Madrid or Chelsea? If you are very spot on, Definitely you get to win a fantastic prize. Go see of VOS TV and of course Sports Arena. It's been a wonderful time with you. Thank you so much. Do ensure you like, subscribe, and of course uh, uh, share this video and turn up post notification just to get notified whenever I put up new content on VOS TV. Bye for now.